Do your clothes really matter to God? I mean, what you wear on a daily basis, does that really matter to God? Well, my name is Ricky Watt. I'm pastor of Havenwoods Baptist Church. And today I want to talk to you about the clothes that honor God. Years ago, not too many years ago, uh, from time to time I would dress up and wear a suit and tie like this on a Sunday morning and inevitably somebody would walk up to me and they wouldn't be an ugly or mean or anything, I think, but they, they would say something like this, boy, you really look like a preacher today. And you know, as I've thought about that over the years, I think, well, what does a preacher, what's he supposed to wear? As a matter of fact, what's a Christian supposed to wear? Well, I got to thinking about that and started studying about it a little bit, and I found a verse in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12 that speaks to that. And this is what the Bible says there. It says in Colossians 3 verse 12, Since God chose you to be the holy people He loves... You must clothe yourselves, and he gives us a list of the things that you and I as Christians should clothe ourselves with. And this is what he says. He says, clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So when we think about the, the clothes that a Christian should wear, we probably think about, you know, what is appropriate to wear for Sunday morning church or what's appropriate to wear for Wednesday night or, you know, out, out in the public, you know, what's presentable for a Christian to be wearing. I remember when I first got saved and called to preach, uh, I was getting ready to go out and cut the grass and uh, I had shorts and a t-shirt on and my mom was just like, are, are you going to go cut grass and that? And I'm like, well, yeah. And she said, well, you're a preacher now. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but I'm also still Ricky too, you know. And, and, and it's funny how we put those judgments on ourselves, but also we lay that on others as well. The Bible's pretty clear about how he looks at us as opposed to how others should look at us. As God was looking for a new king to replace King Saul, he sends the prophet Samuel out to a man named Jesse. And he goes to Jesse's home and he's looking for the next king to anoint. And Jesse sends in the strongest brother, the oldest brother, the most handsome brother. And one by one, they parade across in front of the prophet of God and God never gives his approval. And then Samuel has a moment with God and God says this to Samuel in 1 Samuel 16 and verse 7, the Bible says this, but the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Aren't you glad? I'm glad that God looks at our heart. I'm glad. I cannot tell you how many times I have falsely judged people by their outward appearance. And, and, and God's convicted me about that. And, and, and made me realize, you know what? I don't want people judging me by my outward appearance. Again, I don't want them questioning whether I'm a Christian or whether I'm a pastor or whatever based on my outward appearance because God looks at the heart. As I was thinking about that, God took me to Matthew chapter 6 and verses 1 through 6 where the Bible says this, Watch out, 
Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of, of charity. I tell you the truth, they've received all, received all the reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private, and your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. And then he goes on and he says, And when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you. Um, he says, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. Again, it, he's warning us to not be so caught up in what people see and what people hear when they're around us as to the kind of people we are on the inside, who God is developing us to be. So the next time you're worried about, you know, well, hey, what should I wear? Think about what God calls us to put on. I'll read through the list again for you just to remind you. He says uh, in Colossians 3.12 to put on tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Those are the things that God is looking for us to put on every day. And I tell you what, I believe if we put those things on and allow God to be honored in our lives... God will get the glory through our lives. Because at the end of the day, the point and purpose of our lives, of every Christian, every Christ follower, should be, I just want to give God glory. And, and many times, as we just read there, God speaks in the Word about, you know, don't be like the hypocrites. Many times when he speaks of the hypocrites, he's actually talking about the religious people, the Jews of the day who, who you know, lived by every rule and was trying to keep every rule and trying to, to, to make sure that they were impressive in their appearance and in their speech. And God says, it's really not about that. It's really about your heart. So today, as I close our time together, I want to pray and ask God to develop in our hearts who He wants us to be, to walk and talk and serve and love in a way that would honor God and bless others. Let's pray together. God, I pray right now for each brother and sister that's watching this video. God, it is so easy to get caught up in the the fluff and the, the grand things of this world and this life and trying to be impressive and trying to, to uh, you know, draw people to us. And God, your word warns us that it's really not about what people see. It's about the way you look at our heart and what you see when you look at our heart. Again, God, I pray that you would help us apply Colossians 3.12 and, and be careful to clothe ourselves with the things that honor you and bless others around us. Thank you, God, for the challenge of your word today. And I pray you would help us walk in it now. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, if this is blessed and encouraged you, yeah, I want to encourage you to share it with your family and friends. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again real soon. God bless you and have a great day.